Jasmine Sullivan. Now, what were you doing just before you started hearing your records on the radio? What, what was what was your life all about at that point? Um, I was pretty much just trying to get my records mm. on, on the radio. Were was, you doing that full time, trying to working on your music full time at that point? Very, very early, I I had knew that I wanted to sing, and and I just I just started doing it. I used to perform at a place called the Black Lily in Philadelphia. I was about. Um, 12, 13, mm -hmm. and I was like the youngest person. And I would go there every other Tuesday and perform at like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And it would be all of these older people and drinking and everything. And I would go with my mom and dad. And I would go sing and I would go, sh I would leave right after I sang and uh, go to school the next morning. So <laughs> I've been trying to do this for a while. So it's glad, I'm glad to see that it's paid off now. So what were you doing the first time you heard your record on the radio? Um, I, was, I was in the car and I was riding somewhere with with my um, mom and my brother and I heard my first single "Need You Bad" and we start screaming. <laughs> you know, it's always one of those moments when when you hear you know your your work on the radio does and it, it always sound better too. Does it? Is it still is it still a little thrill for you when you're riding through you know cities across the country and you hear your record on the radio? It is, it is. You know, thrill. I'm I'm grateful. You know that that people are playing my music and, and people love it. You know, I put a lot of work into it, so I'm glad. You know that people love it. Now you're out on the road moving up the fast forwarding a little bit. You're out on the road with Mary J. Bly. Yes. Uh, what is it's that starting like? starting October 1st uh, and I'm so excited. She's definitely an inspiration to me. So when I got the call to go on tour with her, I was just so, so happy. So I can't wait. So you haven't done any dates yet, but uh, it's it's uh, it's firm. You're going to be going. Yes, definitely. And um, Miguel also is, is on the tour. And um, El DeBarge will be doing a few dates with us. So it's going to be really fun. Keep your eye on El. He's a light-skinned brother. You know, oh, you know, what, does, <laughs> <laughs> what does light skin have to do with it? <laughs> Just, just make it a stupid joke. Oh so. gosh! <laughs> <laughs> what order will you be in the performance of, on that show? Um, on the regular show, I'm right before Mary. Wow! Yep. Good spot. Yes. Red smoking hot. People will be back from the bathroom and everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, they had time to just you know sit in, get in their seats. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, that's that's a pretty good spot to I'm be excited, in. I'm excited. How many cities is there? Um, fifteen. Fifteen. Yep. Wow. So that man, that's going to be a nice. You'll come back from that a star. I mean, a bona fide. Hopefully, the next year that's you'll the plan. be next year you'll be the headliner. That's the plan. Yes. Yeah, wouldn't that be special? Yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the new project. It's called Love Me Back, uh -huh. and it comes out um, later on this fall, and I'm really excited about it. I mean, from the first album to this album, I feel like I've grown so much. I took a little break and, and just really, you know, worked hard on this album, and I called it Love Me Back because I feel like I'm in a relationship with, with my music and with this industry, and um, I feel like I put a lot of work um, and time and energy and everything into it, so I just want that same love back. You know, Wonderful. What I do. Has uh, has uh, the uh, business eaten away at your private life and family no, life? No, it so has forth? not. I really? feel like if you want to keep it separated, you can, and, and that's a priority for me. So, when I wasn't doing anything and I didn't have to be in any cameras or anywhere, I wasn't. And now that it's time for it, you know, it's a time and place for everything. So. Wow. Well, yeah. you must not be a big enough star yet. <laughs> or that. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to call the uh, the inquirer or somebody and get you going here. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> well, that's good that you can keep your priorities and and everything separate because sometimes I guess it gets hard to do. Yeah. As you're finding out, and we'll find out. And um, are they sending you scripts yet? Or, or seems like they'd be sending you TV scripts and movie scripts. Well, I did do a movie. It's called Red Tails, and um, T Terrence Howard was in it, and Neo, and uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. And so I'm I'm really excited. That What's I think the name it of that comes movie? Out Red Tails. Uh -huh. It comes out next year. And I had a little small part. It was like my first acting part, but everybody on the set was really, really just just you know open and and open to helping me and everything. So. I felt good about it. Wow, yeah, because you, you, you kind of got that glow. You got that Hollywood glow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. I'm, feel, I'm feeling a movie over here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, best of luck to you. We'll look for you when you, when is that uh, date coming near here? There's, there's one in the October Atlantic City. 7th. And October 7th is, um, is Jiffy Lube Live, the old... Uh, oh, Nissan out of Pavilion. Nissan Pavilion. Yeah, Bristol, Virginia. All right, well, maybe between now and then, somebody will uh, get you booked into Baltimore so we don't have to drive all the way to Virginia to see you. Okay. Or, or, the, or the Bagada, although Atlantic City is a nice run. But best of luck to you. You're Thank a very you. pleasant person. Thank you. And we certainly enjoy your music. Thank you. Jasmine Thank you. Sullivan on Magic 95.9.